During our visit at Lake St. Clair was during the catch and release season. Um, there is a regular catch and kill season on Lake St. Clair as well, but I strongly advise folks that go down there to fish that you really want to release your smallmouth. No practical reason to keep smallmouth. There are a lot of other fish in the lake if you want to catch fish to eat. There's bluegills, there's yellow perch, there's walleye there. When you're targeting smallmouth, they're such a precious resource. Please, do us all a favor. Hook them, enjoy them, kick them back in the water. That's the best way to go about it. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. Doug, you put us right on some fish here. Steam down real good. You're looking at a 20 inch or 19 to 20. <laughs> They're eating this tube alive, man. You got this figured right out, Doug. Thank you. You really do got it figured out. Nine times out of ten, do this best stop just to lift these. Come up, grab them like that on the lip. And with a tube, you're gonna also find that you're gonna take your finger, push it right down to the to the bottom. Sometimes if they're hooked down deep, you put your finger like that, Just right like down a, in the bottom, like a hook out. and push it right straight down. Especially if you're stumbling for pliers, sometimes that works better than pliers. What a there you go. Fish. What a spectacular fish. Let me set the plate here a little bit so you understand just exactly how we're fishing. This is a big, expansive flat. Um, about the shallowest water we've been in is around three feet, and about the deepest water, about five feet. It's scattered with some weeds on the bottom. There's a little bit of cabbage in here, there's a little bit of coontail in here, and the smallmouth are scattered as well. Uh, we'll get into the spots, we'll bing, bang, boom, and get them, and then we get out of that spot, and guess what? We're not catching much at all. So the action is here and there, and the only way to stay on these fish is to continue to move, and we're using a GPS to lock in the spots that are being more productive, we go back to those spots, and as you might imagine, we're getting bit there again. So it's real important to fan cast these flats, and it's real important to use GPS to be able to stay on the best spots. I love it. Steven's got another, oh yeah, he got a little bit more left in him. Look at the shoulders on that fish. Oh my goodness, there, one more jump. One more jump. Oh here, I get this guy, I'll get him. I get it.